Hello Capricorn, this is Robin with Robin's Realm Reading. I'm bringing the November uh, reading for you to get you through the month and see what happens. Uh, these cards here were all a, a birthday gift. Um, I had my birthday last weekend, so I was blessed with a new deck. And these, this energy right here represents you. This represents what's coming towards you. These are the romance angel messages for you. And then I protected you spiritually on either side with a, an ascended master guidance and a wisdom of the hidden realms. So let's go ahead and let me just say, start with a solar plexus hit to clear the air. Welcome if you're new to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Like, subscribe, and share my videos, please. Let me know what you think, if I'm of any encouragement to you. Um, I thank you for being here. The first thing I want to do, Capricorn, is look at the main energy that you're projecting in the month of November. And that is prosperity, abundance, groundedness, your very self. You're being true to yourself right now. You know the holidays are coming up. You have many obligations. You're very good at investing, very good at taking care of yourself, very loyal in relationships, very loving, very dependable, not the fastest moving energy, and sometimes not the most emotional, but very, very kind, very grounded. You're making the coin, I'll tell you what. What else is showing up for Capricorn's energy? By the way, I am not reading any reversals, so... The Seven of Pentacles is where you are feeling good about yourself. You've worked real hard. You're working on something. Um, you're standing your ground watching over these. Whatever your projects are, you're keeping a really good eye on them. This is Capricorn, both of these. Capricorn, this is your own energy, or Virgo or Taurus. This is also you, the Page of Wands. So some of you have set out onto a new journey, a new adventure. You're learning about yourself. You're reviving your inner spontaneity. Uh, this is fire. You may be dealing with an Aries, Libra, uh, Leo, or Aries, Leo, or um, Sagittarian. That makes perfect sense. The kitty cat is the true companion out in the wild that guides intuitively this little page. So this is a deliverer of, of a new opportunity that you are either bringing or someone's bringing to you. What else is showing up for Capricorn? Ah, bondage, mental. Sometimes you overthink things, guys. It's showing up right here. This is uh, some of you are feeling... Like you don't have all the answers. You can't see everything around you. You're not even sure how to get out of this mental state. Uh, but I can truly say that. The serenity prayer always helps when you find yourself in this state of mind. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And you may be in a relationship with one that makes you feel like this. Locked down, frustrated, don't have the answers, don't. They don't communicate properly. The serenity prayer is, God grant me the serenity to accept what I cannot change. The wisdom to change what I can. I mean, the courage to change what I can. And the wisdom to know the difference. That may be what you have to apply. <clears throat> what else is showing up for, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising in November? Oh, the Justice card. If you have been fighting a spiritual battle or a physical battle or a, any kind of a legal suit of any kind or in a relationship even, it shows that you're going to get the justice and these, this right here, the blindfold will be taken off. You'll feel so much better while you're, you're protecting what you have. It could be that somebody's trying to take it from you or they just don't know how to communicate with you. And so it or you don't know how to communicate with them. So you're leaving it up to justice to take care of you. Justice isn't always easy, even if we're the ones that are guilty of producing some kind of a crossfire. Uh, we really are, do. We are, you know. So, you guys, um, 
this is what I'm showing for your energy. Before I go into what's coming towards you, I want to see who's guarding and guiding. Mother Mary. Yes, yes, yes. Nurture your internal self. Be very harmonizing with your true nature, your true soul. Nurture yourself. Eat well, sleep well. Take the burdens off. Throw them at the feet of God if that's what you need to do, however you feel. Um, and just trust that things will work out good for you, but you need to nurture yourself. Be comfortable with yourself. The hidden realms here say you're in a place of resting. Master number 22 is a rebuilding number, but you're rebuilding from the inside out. So it says to have patience and stillness while you rest under this tree. All right, let me see what's coming towards you. Ah, uh, the, the chariot. This is movement. This is cancer as well. Cancer energy. The chariot. Uh, it could be some of you are buying new cars. Some of you are going on vacations, taking a trip. Um, you're moving forward in your business or your relationships. Nicely, obviously. You'll be able to move forward for sure after you get the justice from whatever that was. This will apply to some of you, not all of you, because it's a general reading. If it doesn't apply, don't try to make it fit, okay? So what else is coming towards you in November? The Eight of Pentacles. See, so you've gone from the Seven to the Eight of Pentacles. And that means that during this time period, while you're in the resting phase where you're taking off the burdens and you've cast them onto a higher power, and you're nurturing yourself, and you're nurturing your new goals, and you're seeking justice, you are working on your dreams, goals, and relationships. You're working on it steadily, hands-on. It's a craft. It's something you put yourself into. Whatever it is, my loves, mwah, I hope you get it. What else is coming towards you? Oh, Seven of Swords. It's a feeling of loss. Uh, it's mental. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You feel like somebody might be stealing from you. Or you might have had some of a, some kind of a loss. You might be expecting some kind of a loss. Again, your troubles are with air signs. These are the troubling cards. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you may be getting... Um, into fights with one, someone that one may come into your space to try to take something that you've worked real hard for, and you're not going to let them do it, no matter how they manipulate you, no matter what they say or do. You're going to be very aware now because you've had justice come in in the chariot. The Seven of Wands is where you really are achieving an advanced state of emotional wellness. Um, <clears throat> it's nice. It's stronger than this, so you'll be able to stand your ground and defend yourself very nicely with logic, justice, wisdom. That's what this is, is fire energy of passion, of saying, look, uh, you, we're not on the same page. Don't even come back to me and try to give me this fake offer because I don't believe you. I'm not going to receive it. I'm going to stick my nose to the grindstone. All right, Capricorn. This is also showing up, the Nine of Swords. You're still in a state of sorrow, deep, deep down inside, like something's missing. I have to pull some clarification cards. I'm using the Crystal Visions. What the hell? <clears throat> Can't pull that card. Let me give you a shuffle. Sorry about my camera, you guys. So, Spirit, guides, Universe... Holy Spirit, show me, give me some, uh, give me clarification on the Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. Again, 
somebody, an air sign may be giving you some pain or you're suffering pain as a result of dealing with one. And it's deep inside or it wouldn't be a nine. What is the, uh, who is this seven of swords in the life of Capricorn? Sun, moon, rising. Justice has shown up again twice. So you will get justice and victory. Defeat this. You're, you'll have justice because you'll see it in advance now, guys. It'll take you out of your normal um, regimen, regime. It'll take you out of your normal regime when they show up. You'll, you'll have your head into whatever you're doing. And you'll be like, uh, not again. You'll be able to stand your ground this time. Clarification on the Seven of Wands and this Justice and the Seven of Swords. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, you'll be like this. Coming and going, speaking your peace, being done with it, moving on with justice working on your behalf. This is usually the in and out energy. It's sudden, fast, emotional. Now, give me clarification, please, spirit guides, on this. Nine of Swords for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What does this mean? The Four of Swords. I want you to know that you should drift off from a place of depression and separate anxiety, pure anxiety. So this is reprieve from anxiety. This is pure anxiety over things you cannot change. Again, the serenity prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept what I cannot change. The courage to change what I can and the wisdom to know the difference. And this is rest. This is anxiety and this is rest. Your advice is to take time and rest. The resting tree, rest. Things work. When you throw the outcome into the hands of the divine, you will find a greater place of rest for your soul. Gather up and nurture yourself. Wrap your arms around yourself. Make sure you have nice, soft, cozy blankets. Whatever you need to do to feel good. Okay? But don't work yourself to death over material things. Just be sharp. Okay, the romance angels are here for you in November to say that very soon there will be an engagement for you. It says your love life is ascending. You are going into the right direction. However, remember to nurture yourself so that you are feeling your best. You can get through this period here. You're also being told playfulness is going to serve you well. If it is romance that you want, whether it be from someone in the past that you have to square away with, or just someone in the future. Recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So shine, 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 you beautiful Capricorns. And the romance angels say, pay attention to the red flags. Obviously, Seven of Swords is red flags. You have three sevens in your reading. You have... Two eights, seven eights, and nines. So you're spiritually advanced, Capricorn, right now. You're in a very uh, advanced state of being, and it's good. Stay connected and grounded to yourself. You're valuable. You're wonderful, sweet, and you, you should be able to rest it out until the divine sends you the right person at the right time. If you'd like a reading from me to see if you have met someone and you're unsure, I can do love affinity for you. I can um, be glad to look into your experience with you and see how it's going and maybe give you some comfort or some advice from the tarot and the, my, my guides and healing cards. I'm here for you if you want me. Robin's Realm Readings at Gmail. Email me. I'll get back with you. I love you. God bless you. Blessings from Robin's Realm. Bye, Capricorn.